I'm guessing that you don't have several hours spare each week for preparing developer training to improve your team's coding skills. How about if I could give you many of the benefits of a session that you design and lead yourself without it taking so much prep time and let you profit from everything I know about making hands-on developer training fun and effective. That's the premise of the guided learning hour videos that I make. This video explains how you and your team can use these materials to improve skills like handling legacy code, refactoring safely, and test-driven development. Hi, I'm Emily Bache. I'm a software developer and creator of Saman Coaching. Welcome to my channel. I would like to thank my sponsor, Tuple. They make a tool for remote ensemble and pair programming. A small, bootstrapped team of engineers who care deeply about software quality. I've tried Tuple and it worked well. It was really smooth, especially to switch who is typing. It feels great to partner with like-minded people and have Tuple as our first sponsor. If you're looking for a tool to make pair and ensemble programming easier, more effective and fun, check out the link in the show notes. As a technical coach, I've been doing code carters and code retreats and coding dojos for years. I think I know a few things about putting on a successful coding session. Video is a good medium for explaining technical topics like refactoring and TDD. Plus, developers benefit from hands-on practice. So guided learning hours give you both of those, theory and practice. The idea is you hold these short, regular sessions with your team, that is a small group of trusted colleagues. You watch the video together, you've got this online activity board, you're going to discuss relevant topics and do a coding exercise. The outcome that you're expecting is a stronger, happier team and developers who better understand the software skills that they need to thrive. People using my materials tell me they generally spend less than an hour to prepare a session for their team. My goal is that an ordinary developer and an ordinary tech lead should be able to hold guided learning hour sessions without loads of technical coaching experience or onerous preparations. This video explains how it's all supposed to work and what's expected of you in your role as session host and team learning facilitator and where you can go for additional resources. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you get all the new videos when they come out. A learning hour is a short, hands-on training session for developers. And lots of technical coaches do these as part of their work. And it's a big part of the Saman method that I designed. A guided learning hour is very similar. I start with some learning goals. I prepare some materials and I share them with you. I'm your guide. The tricky part is that I'm not actually present in the session and I don't know the specific needs of your team, which is where you come in. I need somebody who is there, who's present, who can keep things on track. You become the team learning facilitator and the session host. You can hold these sessions regularly, perhaps once a month, when each new video comes out. You shouldn't need to be an expert in the topic of the learning hour. Just interested and happy to learn. You don't have to be an experienced technical coach, just willing to do some facilitation and setup. But that still might sound daunting, and if you haven't done this kind of thing before, I recommend you try it out by attending some sessions led by an experienced technical coach, and the Salman Society hosts these regularly. Look on the official Salman Coaching website for the course Guided Learning Hours. As well as the video, to host a successful session, you'll also want to use an online activity board. These tools like Miro and Mural and Concept Board and so on, they're incredibly flexible. And I love using these tools to make the training more engaging. I can direct discussions to relevant topics and people can give their feedback on sticky notes. I can help people to actively review the topics they're learning about and note down their conclusions. You can get a copy of the board that I've created for each session from Patreon. Otherwise, you'll need to create your own. All of my guided learning hours are structured with the 4C model, inspired by Sharon Bowman's book, Training from the Back of the Room. And that means basically there are four kinds of activity. The connect, the concept, the concrete practice, and the conclusions. We fairly consistently begin a session with the connect and we end with the conclusions. But in between, there might be several concept and concrete practice activities, not necessarily in the right order. 
Knowing these names will help you to orient yourself within a guided learning hour. There is actually a lot more to the 4C model, and it could help if you would study it some more. I've got some training on how to lead effective learning hours available via the Saman Society. Look on the official Saman Coaching website for the course Deliver Learning Hours. I've also got a follow-up course, Learning Hours Masterclass, for when you've got more experience and you want to start designing your own sessions on topics that you know about. For the concrete practice part of the learning hour, usually we'll be doing a coding exercise. And all of the source code is available open source and you can just download it beforehand. There will be links in the session description. And if it's not available in your programming language, we welcome pull requests with translations. Everyone on the team needs to be able to get the coding exercise up and running in their development environment quickly. And that could mean putting it in your organization's version control repository and making sure any dependencies are downloaded beforehand. You want to make sure that it will build straight away when people clone it to their machines. When you're watching the Guided Learning Hour video, at several points I ask you to pause it, and that's when you're going to lead an activity with your team. So you need to keep that activity on track and help people if they get stuck. And you also need to keep track of the timings for the overall session. Some people have told me that they find the time I allocate for exercises is too short. And I think it's kind of unavoidable that I won't anticipate everything your team will run into. And sometimes you'll get to the end of the allocated time and you're not got far enough with the exercise to draw any good conclusions. So there are two basic solutions. Either you book a longer meeting to begin with, anticipating that you'll need perhaps 90 minutes or even two hours, or you could cut off at one hour and then book a follow-up session another day so that you could carry on from where you got to which you choose will depend on your situation. During the sessions, I often ask your team to interact with the activity board or have a discussion or write some sticky notes. Facilitating activities like these might not be the core skill set for a developer. You will get better with practice and you'll feel more comfortable if you've given it some thought and preparation beforehand. Each guided learning hour comes with a session briefing towards the end of the video. That's me giving you my best advice for what to do in each section. I'll mention again, the Saman Society has relevant training courses that could also increase your confidence. Perhaps the most important job of the session host is booking the guided learning hour into the team calendar and reminding people to come. I'm pretty sure the session will be more fun if your team actually turns up. Take a look around at the guided learning hours already available in the playlist in the channel. See if you can find one that your team would benefit from. You could take on this role of team learning facilitator and ultimately become a technical coach. It could be a great move for your career personally, as well as a really good move for your team. I encourage you to give it a go. There are some links in the show notes to some really good learning hours to begin with. Happy coding.